right. Hi, we're at the Bogus Port Event Center here in Far Texas for tonight's show with Nord Promotions. The main event being Eric, the return of Eric Molina to the Rio Grande Valley, coming off his great fight with uh, in the heavyweight championship of the world. <laughs> For the heavyweight championship of the world, gave a courageous performance, came up short against the heavyweight champ Deontay Wilder, the WBC champ. Uh, the gentleman to my right, he just fought on the undercard, uh, had a good fight, a tough working guy he fought. It wasn't like that first guy he fought, but this guy gave him a, uh, you know, gave him a couple rounds. Uh, Gabriel Ayala from Mercedes, Texas. Uh, Gabe, tell me about this fight. How'd you like it? I liked it, especially uh, he gave me an extra round for the experience. Um, I, I really liked it because he, he put the pressure. Um, he made me think a little bit more, um, use my jab. I did go in there a little bit tense, but I mean, we, we adjusted eventually. Now, what, what, this guy was kind of awkward. He was just trying to time me to land a counter right hand, a, a wild left hook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I noticed that he, he was trying to. Taunting. Yeah, he was he was taunting. He was trying to get in my head, but uh, we stayed calm and relaxed, and uh, just went in there and did what we had to do. Pablo, what'd you think about the fight? Oh man, that dude came to fight. Uh, uh, Gabriel was ripping him with some good punches to the body, yeah. and um, this the kid wouldn't go down. You know, he just kept. I mean, the kid throw. He was throwing at him. He was uh, throwing, firing back at Gabriel, but. Gabriel, with his um, amateur boxing experience, tore him apart, stayed calm, picked the shots, and so he took him down. Now, uh, the taunting, his taunting probably, you know, messed with him. Yeah, messed with he, his head. He, well, he tried messing with his head, but I mean, he took it, he took it easy, stayed calm, stuck to his game plan, and everything worked out. He came out with the with the knockout. Now you were head hunting a lot. Uh, I guess Ted Lucio, your corner man, said start going to the body a little yeah. bit more. Yeah, we were head hunting at first. Um, like I said, I was tense, a little nervous, but I mean, eventually, after the first round, I started listening to my corner more. Um, I threw combinations and then went following up with that with those body shots, and that, that opened up everything. That was pretty much his demise when you start hitting them to the body. Huh? Oh, yeah, 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 especially with, uh, with Mexican fighters. They could take hits to the head forever, and they won't go down, so we had to go for that body. Now, you love to stay busy. The next card here, Nord Promotions, uh, first week of December, you're going to be fighting on that card and bringing your big fan base you brought from Mercedes, Texas. Oh, well, actually, um, Cavazos is having one next month in, uh, in November, so hopefully we get on that one and Nord in December. Okay, you just want to stay active, that's yeah, all. I'm, I'm just trying to stay active and, and build up, get my uh, my experience. Pablo, you seen him, what does he got to work on when he gets back in the gym? Um, there's a few things he has to work on, you know, um, um, you know, in the first round he started off a little rusty, a little, he's too tense, yeah. you know, a little slow starter, but I mean, you know how it is, man, first rounds are always a little feel out, but Gary, you gotta let go a little bit more in the first round, that way you set, you set the tone of the fight, yeah. you, you know, set so. He was giving the guy too much respect. Yeah, 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 nah, go in there, man, throw some hard drive, bop, and, you know, just rip him apart from the first round, so. But it was the body shots that pretty much were started uh, breaking this guy down. Yeah, yeah, I just need to stop being cautious, like he said, and uh, just let everything flow. Well, like I said, these under, these, I call them minor league development fights. Before you get to the majors, you got to develop your skills, your mindset at this minor league level. But it's a great, we have a great minor league system here in the Rio Grande Valley. As you can see, Pat Taos tonight. You brought in a big fan base from uh, Mercedes, Texas. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm always having my, my fan base coming uh, and supporting. So um, hopefully we get on these next few cars and bring more people in. Any last words to all your fans? Uh, no, nah, I, I would just like to thank everybody that came out to support, all my sponsors, and especially God for giving me this opportunity. And James Gogi for interviewing me and Pablo as well. So let, let's, look, let's look out. Hopefully November he fights and in December. I know for a fact. I'm pretty sure Nord Promotions is going to do a fight here first week of December, so uh, let's keep on following this kid. He's starting to create a little buzz here. Thank you.